Hey, where'd you get that fly shirt? Yo, mama, you talking about this Discord wear I got on? Discord matches some of your favorite rock and hip hop albums with some of your favorite Disney characters. No way. It's really cool. They sell limited runs of all the tees and once they're gone, they're gone. Oh, snap. <laughs> really? Yep. It's printed on comfortable, soft shirts. And right now they have a Winnie the Pooh slash Notorious B.I.G. mashup. <gasps> I know, right? Everybody likes Winnie. Oh, you know I love me some Winnie the Pooh. Or you could get Mickey Mouse Gorilla Biscuits mashup. And hold on, for all you metal fans out there, there's an Iron Maiden Donald Duck coming out soon that is just to die for. Wow. That's right. Hey, any chance you listen to podcasts too? Fuck yeah, I do. Yo, have you ever heard of Twat FM? Um, yeah. If you use Twat FM as a promo code, you get 20% off your whole purchase. Really? That way you can share your love of Twat FM as well as Discord. That's awesome. I got to get on that right now. Damn right you do, Where do baby. I find this again? You can find that at www.dizcore.com. That's Discord.com. Nice. Yeah, honey. Now let's go get some ice cream. Okay. See? Discord does it all, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to 106.9 Twat FM, streaming to you from Rat House Productions over at rathouse.net. That's R A T T H A U S.net. And it's time for the world according to fear and MBI. <laughs> Yahuda. Uh, hello. Is this Ryan McNally's plumbing and shit of repair? Yeah. Oh, thank God. I've got a monster over here. <laughs> oh, my God. You suck. How do you mess it? How can, we, how can you? <sighs> well, it's, it's... Why start the gag if you're not going to at least get it to a point what you know, no, well, what am I, I mean, this is we're just we're just off the cuffing it. You're Ryan and McNally's cuff. uh <laughs> plumbing and shitter repair <laughs> is uh fantastic. We should uh, you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna write a uh I'm gonna write a commercial <laughs> for, <laughs> for <laughs> Ryan O'Malley's uh plumber and shitter care. They're gonna sponsor the next episode. Ryan O'Malley. Ryan O'Malley. Yeah. He should be from Boston. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Eh? Yeah, I can't wait. Okay. Uh, eh? 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 Are you calling me? It's Ryan McDowney. I'm going to clean your fucking pipes. <laughs> I lost my khakis. <laughs> wait, I'm going to pack the cat. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to the world according to Fear and MDI. I'm your host, Fear, and the beautiful host, MDI. How you doing? I'm not the host. I'm the co-host. That's right. The co-host with the mo-host. I'm the mo-host? Mo yeah. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know. But speaking of that it factor, we got Snurf and P-Whirl on the line. <laughs> P-Whirl? What up? What up? <laughs> it's me, Snurf and P-Whirl. That's my name. That's, yeah, that's how it goes. We got Jim Varney would love it. Oh, you know, man. <laughs> not only. <clears throat> anyway. So, another week down. Uh... Goat yoga didn't go as planned. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I tried my best. I couldn't get anyone to sign up. I know, right? I couldn't find any goats, which was annoying. I had two sheepdogs. And <laughs> I mean, it looked like a coyote, but it also looked like it might have had mange. <laughs> And uh, nobody wants to do yoga with a mangy no, dog. No, yeah, mangy yoga is not quite as. It as just doesn't as have the yoga. lure. Yeah. Well, you should have seen him. He was. Uh, he was mangy. Oh, he's a homely looking thing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so that that's been my week. I tried to get goat yoga off the ground. It's not going to happen, Thompson. I'm sorry. We're gonna have to figure something else. <laughs> something else out. 
But uh, yeah, so I don't know. On to the next thing. MDI, yeah, yeah. What uh, what have you been up to this week, MDI? Oh, uh, well, well, your birthday's coming up, and uh, I got a lo- I got a laundry list of things that I want to do to try and improve our house slash backyard before uh, your birthday because I want to have you know the family over for your birthday. And yeah. So uh, I've been trimming trimming trees. And- Tree trimming. And, uh, you know, we've been weed hacking. Uh, weed hacker burn. Weed hacking. And uh, I've also been spray painting a swing. I also have, uh, well, about a quarter of the kitchen cabinets off the, f- the doors <laughs> yeah. off of the kitchen cabinets. I feel like that was a because, large undertaking. Well, you wouldn't let me take any more off. You haven't done the ones you've taken off. I know, but why would I, you're supposed to take them all off? But the, I don't, I don't know the rules on that. Like, well, yeah, because you don't want to. You don't want to have some on, some off. N- no. Hmm. And you don't want to start the paint process before you're finished the sanding process because then you risk the newly painted ones getting sand on them. The dust, if you will. Yes. Hmm. Dust. <laughs> Sanding dust. Okay, well, whatever. We can get those down. So what else? You what, what else on this, this crazy list? The carpentry here, not you. Look, my father was Jesus Christ. He uh, no. Yeah, he's one of the first. Please, makes you please, please don't ever yeah, but, compare your father but, to Jesus but, Christ. Oh, I, I, don't know, I don't know about that guy. I, there was an immaculate conception. It was a thing. I don't okay, know. okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. At least that's what Dad tells me. I don't know. I think he lies a lot. Yeah. This one time he told me, he's like, guess what? My blood is wine. <laughs> I was like, shut up, dad. That fucker, he once told me that he turned one fish and one loaf of bread into many. Just poof. Just poof. Oh, Just yeah. poof. I'm telling you, my dad tells tales. And he can't even fucking be specific, eh? Just many. <clears throat> like how fucking many? No, just many. Yeah. You fucking. can't even you can't even call him dad. He prefers to be called father. Father, exactly. Yeah, that's like, creepy. I'm not down with that. That is creepy. He tried. There was a brief time uh, where he tried to get me to call him daddy, and I didn't like that. Yeah, that's that but, was over the line. Yeah, I wasn't a fan. Well, I mean, better better daddy than pappy. <laughs> call me pappy. I'm like, what, dad? Are you talking about? But uh, that's right. Yeah, had a real god complex. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he did. But on bum bum. The Messiah. What a yeah. I was gonna say one would say we're calling a messianic complex. There you <laughs> yeah. go. Get all fucking technical. Yeah, exactly. Shit. Untrustworthy. Anyway, yeah, and then he fed me oh, some I crackers, and he's like, "Yeah, this is my down on my phone." This is unto me, and I'm like, "Not unto you." Your Where's your craft dinner, you bastard? Yeah. Chop up some hot dogs and that shit. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> ketchup, though. You don't put ketchup in craft dinner. Well, you, you do if you put hot dogs in it. No, you don't. You don't ever put ketchup in craft dinner. Oh, that's crazy. What about hot sauce? Hot sauce is different. And yes. <laughs> no, hot sauce is different. And yes. Okay, good. Because I splatter that shit with Frank's. <laughs> You know, there's the the pineapple on pizza debate, but there is also the ketchup and craft dinner. And I'll tell you, I'm okay with pineapple on pizza, but you never, ever put ketchup in craft dinner. Hmm. I'm with you. I don't know. Disagree. I've I've had it with ketchup, and it's it's not bad. But when it comes to the whole pineapple on pizza thing, I just don't like the chunk of pineapple. If you want to put a little bit of pineapple juice on it, man, that makes the 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 whole uh, Crust taste amazing. Cross taste? The crust. The crust oh, tastes crust amazing. Yeah. Taste. I got I'm sorry. But once I bite into one of them slithery little slugs on the thing, it just pisses me right off. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just saying. Yeah. I know you have said that before that you you appreciate uh Hawaiian pizza 
because you take the, the you physically take the pineapple off, but the sweetness that it leaves behind, you appreciate. Oh, it's fantastic. You like that. You enjoy that. That I get it. Pineapple yeah. juice on pizza, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Hunks of that shit. No, what the fuck? This isn't a luau. Get that shit out of there. I like it. I like it. I don't Hawaiian know. pizza's not even Hawaiian. Exactly. No, it's not. It's fucking Canadian. That is correct. <laughs> Did you know American cheese is an American? True story. Made in it's China? Canadian. No, it's Canadian. <laughs> that is amazing. So you've been doing some carpentry and some backyard again. What, uh, backyard again? <laughs> yeah, man. We were in the thick of back it with that Backyard shenanigans. Yeah. We were. I, uh, I went a little bit crazy on some trees and, uh, well, there's not as many trees as there used to be back there, but they were just unneeded, unnecessary, and unwanted. Well, yeah. The So there was like two main trees that were being choked out by like 14 little trees because nobody had <clears throat> taken care of it. Yeah. So, <laughs> sorry, man. They're fucking all dead. I killed them. But, yeah, it was pretty funny. The, uh, you saw that uh, comment on Instagram, Ace Nerfin, about the child labor. That was beautiful. Well, right, but where was the other child is my question. Well, as if you don't know, she's an unmarried woman, so she was in the kitchen baking. So everybody else was out in the backyard <laughs> working hard, and she's in the kitchen playing with sugar. Yeah. yeah. I'm not impressed. Right? Yeah. No, uh, she does most of the house cleaning, so Logan does outside work. That's fair. Whereas, like, Sean and I do stuff in the house and outside, so that's... But yeah, she cleans in the house, like, every day, so Logan does the outside work. Yeah, they seem to be okay with that because he doesn't like doing any of the inside shit. <laughs> so, but anyway, I just wanted to uh, shout out Tales from the Animal Kingdom. Uh, I don't know which of them uh, works the social media, but that was that was a pretty funny comment on Instagram. And uh, attack, yeah, that was awesome. Um, yeah. So and then so we posted that. That was crazy going through all that. I some of that fucking. The weeds back there were at least five feet tall. I'd mm-hmm. say. Yeah, it was insane. The and only- they grew so fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like it- when we first moved in, it was like, oh yeah, we got some weeds back there. We get a, we better get yeah, a whippersnapper, whippersnipper, whatever the fuck you want to call it. <laughs> My family used to call them whippersnippers. <laughs> um, and a clitter uh, pitter. So I've referred to it as a weed wow. whacker once or twice. The weed, weed whacker, whacker, yeah. Well, we call it a weed hacker now because of the uh, weed hacker fern. the movie, yeah, over the hedge. That movie, our kids really liked it when they were young. Um, but yeah, um, within what two weeks, it was like, holy shit, we really need to get a weed hacker. Well, it finally started <laughs> raining. And yes, that's, that's when what everything it is. just like went crazy. But. Was there anything yeah. else that you kind of got up to? This week? I don't think so. No? Snurfin, you, what uh, would you get up to? Anything fun this week? Um, I worked. Okay. There was, a lot, there, was there was work, you know? Um, yeah, no, that's... That's, that's about it? Okay. <laughs> so this is... Uh, something similar to your work that we can kind of chat about. I, so I'm a bud tender and, uh, it's, it's been fun trying to educate the folks up here that sativa is not the only type of weed. Wait, it isn't. Yeah. And just like, these are names that I heard people call it just today. (laughs) <laughs> I had someone ask for Satvia. Uh, yeah. That's a new one. I know, yeah. Uh, Stevia. Oh, that's, yep, yeah, that's a common one. Uh, Stevia. Okay. Uh, the S1. The S1. Oh, the S1. Yeah, and not the one that puts you to sleep. I want the party <laughs> weed. <laughs> 
interesting. Yeah. My favorite is Stativa. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Stativa. Stativa. Or Stativia is another one I get too. Yeah, they just start adding shit in there and they're like, oh, it's, it's, a, a it's, a, it's, a, it's a fucking five letter word. <laughs> yeah. It's really not God. that hard to say. Stativa. I will accept Sativa if necessary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it's a five letter. Indica should be the harder one to say. That those it doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, but everybody gets indica no problem. I know. What yeah. is that about? Indica. I don't know. Man, if I have to hear somebody else fucking tell me indica, like into couch, I'm gonna fucking slap. <laughs> right. I know. Yeah, that was like it's such funny. a big thing, and now it's like uh, just cringy. I don't find that indica like puts me in the couch that much. Even. No, and that's what I mean. So when we came out and was first legal they had to do it with broad strokes right like yeah here this sativa is like a shot of espresso but indica yeah, exactly. into couch gonna give you the munchies pass yeah out, because blah, blah, people blah. are simple as fuck well and now you know, go, ahead. go ahead sorry no no no, no, it's no okay. you go ahead. well i was just gonna no, say but- so now people are only bit for fuck's sake people are only basing it <laughs> off of those two things they're like i don't want to go to sleep i just want to party and I'm like, well, yeah, I get it. But you can party on Indica, too. And then, it's, fuck me, yeah. there's hybrids. <laughs> right? Well, that, right. But here's the thing. I don't often associate sativas with energy or energetic. They don't wake no. me up or perk me up. A lot of sativas knock me out. The roof, but Sativas knock me out more than Indicas do. I don't know what it is, but I am like the complete the opposite crash. to most people. Yeah, maybe it's just uh, you just the crash up or something. <laughs> and the thing is, is I, I hear that a lot these days, too, though, that the opposite happens with people, that sativas don't perk them up or energize. They, they make them tired. Or... Yeah, that's kind of interesting because uh, I don't know. I do think when I do sativas, like I do get that sort of head high kind of caffeine sort of thing. But it, again, it, it all depends on everything, right? Like. Yeah. And that's why they have the honorage in fact, where it comes with terpenes and all that kind of stuff. And like, you really, you actually have to get that far and we're, we're not even past Indica Sativa yet. So like <laughs> pump, pump the brakes for fuck's sakes on your carophyllines and all that shit. Nobody understands what the fuck <laughs> this the Satvia or the Indica or any of that shit is. Um, so let, I need something that's at least 5% ursine, 2.5% beta caryophyllene, uh, with at least 1.5% alpha pinene. Yeah, go. <laughs> go. Oh, and it, please make it be one of the land races. I don't want anything that's crazy. <laughs> no, I think it's good. Oh, man. So uh, tonight I am smoking. Uh, lemon pepper spice. We. Well, yeah, it's definitely lemon weed. No, we we that? are. Smoking. Oh, we we yeah yeah. Not Ooh. you. We 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 are smoking tonight. Uh, yeah, lemon pepper spice. Uh, from um, Dykstra Greenhouses in uh, Niagara. And from uh, Niagara. Yeah, and they've actually they've got a couple of different uh, strains that I've tried uh, just in the last couple of days. Uh, there's one called Wreck and Leisure. Um, I haven't looked in to see if these are uh, proprietary strains or if they're anything else, but I've tried the Wreck and Leisure, the Lemon Pepper Spice, and they've got one more. I think it's called Niagara Melon, something like that, but I haven't tried that Ooh. one. Yet. Ooh, I want to try and that it's, one. Uh, it's a sativa. This one is lovely, though. Yeah, this is really oh, a melon strain of sativa. I'm pretty sure. I'd have to double check, but I think it's Niagara no, Melon. You, it's, it's, uh, it's, sure, you could very well be right. I'm seeing more and more strains these days that are typically uh, one thing um, but are bred to be another. Yeah, like I remember uh, like Rockstar was <clears throat> one or the other. I can't even – I don't even remember what it is now. I think it's uh, – an indica now, but I remember it, it being used a, sativa. To be a sativa. I thought and I remember yeah. the opposite, or or maybe it's the opposite. But uh, there's definitely been a switch because I was used to it oh, being yeah. one, and then uh, when I got into the the recreational market, it was different. And I'm like, wow, that's kind of fucked up. Interesting. And you look at things like Cold Creek Kush, 
uh, depending on which LP you get it from. If you get it from Redican, it's a sativa, and it is very much sativa leading. But anywhere else, it's a pretty hefty indica. That is true. And yeah, that was always kind of a weird sort of thing. That one, we, you'd actually have people, you'd have to be like, oh, do you want the indica or the sativa? Yeah. <laughs> and they'd be like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> it's a cush, it's an we indica. Well, that's that's not how that works, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it used to be synonymous that the cush was uh, was indica only, but even I've got some tree line cush up, upstairs that we've been trying, and it's a uh, sativa of some sort. Oh, that sucks. Nice. Yeah, I don't know why you did that. that was- <clears throat> but yeah, and it's... Um, it's only like 16%, but... Uh, it's nice. It's nice. Like, it's harsh as fuck. Um, yeah, it's well, a harsh no, smoke. That's no bueno. Yeah, like it's not... Uh, I think it needs to dry more. It, there is definitely... It was either not dried properly or not cured properly for how yeah, bad it tastes. It but, burns uh, black, like black yeah, ash. It's the, yeah. So that's how you know it's kind of shit. But like I said, at 16%, it got me high, so it's not that bad. It did, yeah. Dude, I've had 13% fuck me up, so like I'm not a, I'm not a big believer in high percentage. No, and it is. It's funny. Like I tell people that all day long, and then when I go to buy my weed, I'm like, that's not high enough. That's and I'm like, what? Enough. I turned into that guy. What the hell happened there? I know, right? Oh, you know what? what? I forgot to tell you. What? I got Uber Eats again. What? Right? I did. Like this version of Uber Eats? No. No, like I got. In, oh, like, in oh, Britain, in, in, in England. England. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. How's she doing? She, she's, uh, she's eating McDonald's still. So, okay. Fat girl just like me. Probably. Is she still there eating for one? There must have been something wrong with her order though, because oh. I got an email again a couple of days later with part of it being refunded. Oh no. Was it nuggets? So, she usually gets I nuggets. No, I don't. I didn't look you didn't look close, but I can't, I can, but, uh, I thought it was funny cause she obviously did not, um, contact Uber via email. Hmm. To yeah, let them know them about the app, I think. problem with her. Now, Snarfin, are you aware of this whole situation? I I can't remember if we talked about yeah. it on this show yeah. or the other show. Okay. Yeah. No, I, he, he understands. <clears throat> yeah. Like um, 12, 12 or 13 episodes ago. Ordered okay. from McDonald's on High Street West in Sutherland. If anybody listens, please. In the UK. I've got her exact address. Like, Why? We shouldn't give that out. No, I'm not going to give it out. (laughs) But I kind of want to send her some mail. Get the Tic Tac guys on it. They're from the UK. Oh, we should send her a bunch of swag. Yeah, I want, like, (laughs) send her a fucking... Uh, I'll do a... A letter and and some swag. I'll do a, uh, like, a McDonald's-style shirt with our logo and shit. It'll be a one and done. She'll be the only person that has it. We'll see if she tags us. It doesn't tell me what she ordered. It just says that her previous total was $20.78 and her new total is $13.59. And what, so what is they, she paying? Like pounds and shit or? Yep. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's a euro. Sorry. I was going to say, I don't know. Um, euro. Should be pounds. Okay, maybe it is pounds. I don't, I don't think England uses the euro. Oh, I'm sure they accept it, but I think they use the pound. And in some places, something called sterling? I just thought the symbol in front of it was euros, but I could be mistaken. What is that? Does it uh, look like, yeah, a, that's like an L? That is the pound. An L? Okay, my yeah, bad, like sorry. kind of an EL thing? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So the euro is like a, like a squiggly E, like a half eight. With oh, okay. Weird. Yeah, I, know. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. All I know is she paid with an Apple Pay Visa ending in. Oh, no, no. I wasn't going <laughs> to say I'm just, it. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> I wasn't going to say Either it. Either way, no, I'm going to do it. Remind me. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna yeah, do it like a. That was funny. Some sort of McDonald's sort <laughs> of logo thing. We'll send it over to her. Well, what do you imagine her reaction is going to be? Oh, I have no idea. I hope she finds it fucking funny. 
Yeah. E- either that or we're probably not going to do any of my shows because we're oh, all I can, I can download the full Uber Eats receipt. Oh, no, I can't. I need the login. Well, you know, the you at least know the email. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, download PDF. Oh, I need the login again. <laughs> either way. I, uh, I hope she gets it and thinks it's hilarious. If not, it'll be it'll go viral because she'll be like, "Oh my God, look at these stalkers!" <laughs> well, right. What if this goes the complete opposite way you're expecting? She thinks she's in danger. Well, I'm gonna write her a letter. Oh yeah, I'm gonna let her know she's in it's danger. It's gonna be a letter sent. Oh, a letter. <laughs> <laughs> I must oh, be in danger. Think- these guys made <laughs> some specialty merch for me. Suspe- yeah. <laughs> Well, I wasn't thinking about there being a letter. I thought you were just going to send it. No, I, was gonna, no, oh, I wanted no. to mail her a letter being like, hey, you know, funny story. My name is da 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 and I receive your email, Uber email receipts every time you order McDonald's. Because that's all she's ever ordered. Yeah. Is McDonald's. And I say it like that because I assume she does because she's British. McDonald's. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway. Yeah, no, if we just funny. sent something random, yes, no, that'd be scary, especially like with yeah, our sure. mugs on it. <laughs> right? In no context, <laughs> just uh, what, here's this weird shirt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're not that weird. Snarf I mean, you never know. I mean, that could be weird. We totally could mess with her, <laughs> but right? that that's less funny to me. <laughs> no, I I I I would like to write her a letter and be like, "Hey, what's up? This is the story." Yeah. Then you guys could become pen pals. Right? You never know. She could be like my best friend from another world. <sighs> that would be amazing. Right? Wait, With the same what name. What if she's creepy? Ooh. She's a serial killer. I highly And that's how we it. set it all off. The McNugget yeah. killer. Oh, you guys are insane. <laughs> Everywhere she goes, she leaves McNuggets. <laughs> I'm bored of you now. She just paints on the wall. Bring back the clown. <laughs> <laughs> I I I I think I, well, this is gonna happen either way. And now I know what's gonna be on the shirt. <laughs> Bring back the clown. Oh my god, you're <laughs> <laughs> with our face on a McNugget box. It's right in itself, Choking people. On my own spit. Oh no. True. Fuck, that is so funny. That is so funny. You know, it kind of reminds me of the uh, the aviation phone that I had, and I used to talk to that woman. <laughs> she uh, she texted. Yes. So anyway, so I, I had this work phone snarfing, yeah. and it was for because I I did all the uh, travel, all the travel, like booking the rooms and booking the flights for people know what my staff means. and stuff. Well, oh, okay, yeah. whatever, and. Uh, you could call this phone, this number or whatever. It was my work phone. But anyway, so I got a text from this lady um, just before Thanksgiving, like wishing me a thank, happy, happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving and <laughs> blah, blah, blah. But on his work phone. <laughs> but yeah. And she was calling me by this name and telling me all about her family and how they're doing and blah, blah, blah. And it, she was so sweet. So I just reached out and I'm like, hey, just so you know, uh, I'm not. The I'm not who you think, think it I is. I, I like this is my work phone. Blah blah blah. But I think that's awesome. And you know, uh, happy holidays. Yeah, and like happy holidays or whatever. And she's like, okay, thanks so much. I was like, well, I'll, I'll talk to you at Christmas. And, <laughs> <laughs> and sure enough, the bitch beat me to it. She texts me before Christmas, wishing a Merry Christmas to me and, yeah, the, family and the family and all <laughs> that kind of stuff. And it and it became this thing. And we we did it every holiday. So me and this random. A lady would text and she would wish good wishes to um, to my family and she would tell me about how her family's doing and stuff. And that's one of the one things that I do miss about my old job is like, I don't know when that ever stopped because eventually I just didn't have the phone anymore. Yeah, you just gave up the phone. She yeah. could still be talking to whoever has it now. I hope so. I hope someone continued that conversation. It wasn't one day just she thought, I, yeah, she was like, oh, that son of a bitch ghosted me. But you should have texted her before you turned it over. I never. I was gonna say. I never thought of it. Ugh. I know, and that's one of those like I wish I would have done it things. 
but uh but yeah so i don't know that that, would, that could be our our new person right you, you could like exactly pen pal it up with with her or whatever I'm totally gonna and then ghost start her. Her. exactly and then eventually we'll oh, drop yeah, sure. them like Absolutely. Ghost her. yeah, yeah just, that's perfect. done <laughs> <laughs> but uh fuck yeah shit you hit a pothole well yeah no i was trying to think of uh like what to talk about next and then i hit a pothole but i already know what i want to talk about so All snurfing right, i had a, Yo. i had another Yo. i had another lady come in today let me know if this has ever happened to you <laughs> so do it she comes in tales from <laughs> yeah, the pot tales shop. from the pot store uh so <laughs> i'm in the back and i i'm counting stuff in the vault and uh, i've got an employee up front and i can hear them clearly helping somebody and i hear this troll make this noise and i was like hey and i was like what the fuck was that so i go out <laughs> and there's this troll staring at me and oddly enough this troll had a gucci bag which i thought man there's so much going on here I can't- it was probably <laughs> fake i i can't i can't even have enough time to unpack everything <laughs> so i'm like what do you want she's like five pack i'm like all right do you want sativa or indica and she's like i don't care i'm like me either let's fucking do this i don't care so i just i grab whatever the hell i want and I'm like, you're gonna love this. And she just looks at me like I'm the most insane person. Yeah, like she's he, ever she met. is not there for customer service. Yeah. Just give her her fucking joints and get the fuck out of her face. So I, I ring her up and I look over and she's flipping through her purse, which is containing I don't know a seven to eight inch bread knife. It's fucking huge. Like it looked like a machete, but it was serrated. Like but it was serrated knife. like a bed bread knife. So I'm like, what the fuck? I zero fucks given, Snurf. And I took a picture of this lady. Like, I didn't. I'm gonna send. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna send it over to you right now. <laughs> so you need to see what I saw right now. We're gonna send because I over. I was like, I you know like I I'm not one to. Uh, to, like you're not quick to judge. You know, yeah. Like shit happens, man. I'm not gonna. But whatever. But like, and like. I don't try to start nothing. I don't do, but I, th- I took this bitch's picture right in front of everybody. Like, yeah, fuck, she's this, walking around with a butcher knife in her bag. So I highlighted it in the picture. You should get it here shortly. You'll have to zoom in to see some of the serrated stuff because I had to take this picture super quick, as you know. Often, you when don't you, want crazy when you, to see you taking you, a picture when of you them. photograph uh, a troll, a, a troll. <laughs> They freak out. So anyway, so this, so this crazy bitch. So she taps her her card down and it does the bleep bloop and the universal sign for you don't have any money. And uh, so this troll quickly packs up her knife and walks away. That's it. I'm like, okay. No, you said she. Well, I'll be back. Oh yeah, she did muffle something on her way as she hopped along out of there. Um, I couldn't really tell what the gargle was, but I assumed it was I'd be back. So anyway, a couple hours go by, and uh, sure enough, I'm in the back uh, counting something. Uh, Again, I know there's an employee out there, and I hear that same rebel. Hey! I'm like, she's fucking back. So I grab the my boss because I'm like, you have to see this. Come see this woman. Come see this troll. <laughs> so we we both go rushing out front and she starts to serve the troll. I'm like, she don't care. Don't even ask a question. Go get a five pack. That's all we're doing right now. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so the troll's shuffling through her bag and I'm doing the like side eye like, are you, are you looking in the bag? Because I know there's a knife. There could also be a severed head. (laughs) And so then the troll's like, and she shuffles back out the door. And I'm like, but leaves the purse. Leaves the purse. I'm like, boss, there's a fucking knife in that bag. She's like, what? I'm like, look. So she pokes her head in. She's like, what the fuck? I'm like, I don't know. Is it for offense or defense? And should we be worried? So the troll comes wandering back in with a debit card. I don't know whose. I don't care. You don't ask questions to a troll with a fucking knife. 
and she pays for her five pack. She gives it a tap. Bleep, bleep. The universal sign for, yeah, you got some money, or at least somebody did. Probably the guy you buried. <laughs> and she moseyed on her way. But chalk that up to something I ain't never seen yet. <laughs> somebody with a giant kitchen knife in the purse buying weed from me. I really That's felt like a, a drug one. dealer. I can't. <laughs> I can't. That's a new uh, one. I can't say I've ever experienced anything like that. Yeah, dude. That's I. Ever. You know, <laughs> and like even when we when we were in the ghetto of Edmonton, I saw a lot of crazy stuff. We've talked about a lot of crazy stuff. I've not seen a weapon yet. <laughs> and this then, fucking full on knife. Yeah, and like. I and for a mi- I didn't think about it. Was it for offense or defense? Like, because because this is a scary place. So it can be a scary place where we've moved to. Well, especially if you or fuck that around troll. That night. <laughs> was the about trolls to, uh, was about to I'm smoke sure you a five pack. To it as the scab capital of Canada. I think we found <laughs> numero <stabber>. uno. <laughs> You got a picture of the stabber. Police, reach out. I know who's been doing it. (laughs) I don't know what bridge she lives under. (laughs) If we can get on this goat situation, they can lead the way. But. Oh, no, I'm out of iced tea. She is definitely carrying. So I don't know. She could have smoked five joints and then gone on a stabbing spree. I'll read in the paper tomorrow. Right. Uh, I hope not. That yeah, create a whole new stigma. I'm not ready for <laughs> <laughs> trolls with knives. No, associating weed with it. I don't want that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, no, no absolutely. Shit, eh? No, they'd come to me. I'd be like, never seen it before. No, it smelled like booze though. <laughs> <laughs> she kept talking about how she loved crystal meth. <laughs> Try to take all the heat off weed I can. <laughs> but. What are you uh, snurfing? You, what, you smoking on anything tonight or going to be? Um, I just had a little bowl earlier um, of uh, some more of the gas berries. Ah, nice. Yeah, I've been rationing it. Not that I'm low on weed. It's just, it's You're really low on just that. Stuff, I don't want to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. I bought an eighth of uh, Gelato 33 um, from uh, Lot 420. I don't know if you guys got them. but uh, uh, I, I don't even think I've even heard of them. You yeah. must be getting a lot of LPs that are from further east. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's weird. We, I don't know. Because, yeah, there's a ton of people that I haven't seen in... Uh, in Alberta or whatever. And, and I have had people say like, Oh, you have such a different selection than Ontario or Saskatchewan, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know. It's pretty wild shit, but, uh, are there any local brands out there? You know, not really that I found at least not yet, but, um, we've got to get on that. Oh, that's that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We gotta, we gotta get the, uh, Twat FM Kush going. Right. Some of that uh, Manitoba, that. that Toba wheelchair weed. <laughs> Toba wheelchair. Why does it have to be a wheelchair? Because it's supposed to put you in a wheelchair. What? Why? That's why they call yeah. the wheelchair weed. Because <laughs> that's how good it is. Yeah, it's so good. You're like in a coma. People got to move you around with a wheelchair. You ain't never heard that? No, I don't think so. Oh, fuck. What you talking about, girl? You went to Vancouver 420. You know what wheelchair weed is. We had a hell of a time walking around after that. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> we didn't even smoke any. That was just hanging out on the island. Sterfin, you guys uh, mask free now? Sorry, in English this time? Uh, <laughs> uh, Sterfin, are you guys <laughs> mask free now? Oh, no. Sorry. We oh, are, I thought we are not. I thought I heard um, that Alberta was. Well, the, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so customers don't have to wear masks, but we do. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, That's it has been deemed balls. necessary by upper management. Um, just an extra precaution uh, because, for whatever reason, our government 
can't seem to see eye to eye with one another. Yeah. Between between city and province. Shitty. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's interesting here too because it's quite different. Like, I don't know. They are, I don't know. Toba's definitely on their own path. They're choosing half of this, half of that. This area, fuck that area. Like, it's super weird the way they do it because we're pretty much divided in half from the north down. And so, right. like, I don't know. I don't even know. It's like make your own rules up out here. Mm-hmm. Sometimes <laughs> it feels that way. And it's crazy. They, they don't have 911 here. What? Yeah. Exactly. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> One second. <laughs> <laughs> hold up. Back up the, the fucking the, truck. The stat capital of our country doesn't have 911. I feel like that's a problem. You think? Is it, is it because it's get up, a get, get, get down 911 joke in your town? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, here it's a, it's a, what is it? Three, six, what? Ten digit number? Yeah. And, uh, and then it gets dispatched through Brandon. Which is six hours away. Yeah. And then, and like, so, and so I work right across from the RCMP office. Some dude fell and conked his head. Uh, which I said no loss, but <laughs> <laughs> apparently uh, his friend thought otherwise. So we had to call, uh, again, I am right across the street from the RCMP, <laughs> but I had to call Brandon. Why couldn't his friend just walk over to the fucking RCMP's office? Well, he walked over to bug <clears throat> you guys. No, no, we saw, no, there was, uh, we had one of our customers come in and say, Hey, there's a guy bleeding from his head outside. And, uh, <laughs> we were like, yeah, that's probably Tom. And uh, so, yeah. So then we went out to Should check said, on him. Oh, go to the RCMP's office. It's across the street. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, so they had to call. Call Brandon. Brandon dispatched. Uh, it all and then took hours later. way too long. Yeah. Like, it's, it's crazy. I couldn't believe it when... <clears throat> Tank told me, and she's like, "Yeah, no, there's no 911." I'm like, "Ha ha ha!" And she's like, "No, legit. Here's the ten-digit number. You need to know it." Oh, man. <laughs> like, fuck, better put that cunt in speed dial. I spent don't my think whole. I still have spent my whole I life learning nine one one. Now I have to put a whole bunch more to that. Fuck me. And like, lie to me. Let me dial nine one one, but route <laughs> it to Brandon. I don't give a shit. We can't do that. I I've got a VPN that says I'm in Kurzbakistan, but you can't let me dial nine one one and it just be like yeah nine one one. That can't happen. Yeah. Or well, like, why could yeah like why couldn't that just fuck you used to be able to start what was it like star 69 or that whatever and you could block your number and you could oh yeah star, like, star 67 and shit yeah you like, fucking do that to me man just let me dial three numbers <laughs> when i'm being chased by a troll with a knife fucking troll. <laughs> instead of being like ah fuck i did I, I didn't do the area code shit got another lap around the parking lot <laughs> Trying to fucking dial. Because the troll won't catch you? No, nah, probably not. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You never know. I don't know. If a sketch troll, troll might be fucking slow, fast. Then, then what is the lap around the parking lot going to help you? <laughs> it won't. <laughs> yeah, it won't. Do, do harm. <laughs> <laughs> it could win you. She could catch up. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. It's like zombie land, but fucking scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed a number for another lap around the parking lot. Yeah. You're a twat. Cardio is <laughs> important, man. Yeah. Especially in that situation. Thompson Pizza Hut, <laughs> son of a bitch. Any chance you can transmit Brandon RCMP? <laughs> While you're at it, I'll take some crazy breads. What you got? <laughs> Stop for us. Is that around right now? 
We still have to go to the Pizza Hut. We walked past it today and the kids were fucking cursing at me. Why? Just the smell? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's ridiculous. Snurfing, you big fan of the hut? Sorry? Are you a fan of Pizza Hut? You know, I was a huge fan when I was a kid. It tapered off over the years. Yeah, what was that? Why Why did we... Was it because it was like a party place? Like, why did we love that as a kid? And then... Uh, because they had a Sunday buffet. Oh, yeah. That was a thing. Is that what it was? Yeah. Unlimited ice cream, chocolate sauce, caramel, peanuts, sprinkles, whipped cream, all of it. That's why. That and is like true. back then, I'm pretty... I I'm, I'm 100,000 percent certain that the crust was better back then. Oh, it probably yeah, was. Yeah, I think it had to have been. Yeah, it was full of fucking, well, you know, like... Gluten. High, you know, what's it called? Like, um, <laughs> non-hydrogenated fucking oil or whatever, but it was just oh, yeah. hydrogenated the tasty oil. oil. Here's fully yeah, hydrogenated. I, yeah. I'm... I'm quite certain their pizza tasted better back in the day. Yeah, I think You're so too. Right. Cause like, I remember really liking them when I was younger and then by, <laughs> I'd say by mid twenties, we went back a couple of times and I'm like, this just isn't worth the diarrhea I'm going to have later. <laughs> well, yeah, but that's also cause you're lactose and dog. I don't know. I think it's cause they're greasy as shit. Well, that could help. Yeah. I yeah, don't know. They, <laughs> They're pretty greasy. <laughs> they are. They're very greasy. Now, just because I'm t- thinking of the same sort of era, did you ever have like a party or go and eat in the McDonald's caboose? The caboose? What's that? What? Mm. I'm telling was you, that I not told a thing? you this before. That was only a South. That was only, that was a only that location. Thing. Yes. Oh my God. Oh. Never mind. Well, describe it to me. I want to. You can't. You don't get to do that to me. To <laughs> no, it was out. it was a legit caboose of a train. <laughs> it was a caboose of a train that was no parked way. in the parking lot yeah. beside the McDonald's in the city that the closest to where we lived. And, and you could go eat in it. Well, yeah, yeah it was we like have having like birthday a catered birthday, birthday party at McDonald's, but in the caboose. So you would oh, eat man. McDonald's. Um, Happy meals. Happy and meals and shit. And then you could go over to the play place and run around and play in the play place. But it was like you had the birthday party in the caboose instead of clogging up the 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 restaurant itself because it wasn't big enough to withhold both customers what, what and we birthday do? parties. Uh, put the little bastards out in the caboose. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, shit. I think I totally forgot that that was just that location because it yeah, was on the railroad tracks. Yeah, that's not an tracks. everyday thing. That's, that's just cool. shit. Well, they that should have been like I don't I don't know what the uh, the numbers look like, but that was definitely a game changer in the Chatham <laughs> Ken area. <laughs> I've been to a. <laughs> oh, you're an idiot. I've been to a a three leveled McDonald's before. A what? A multi-level McDonald's. Oh. Three floors. Three floors? Why? Yeah, dude. Wait, um, Because it was, I think it was a major road, major highway or something. I remember I was traveling when I was a kid, but it had three fucking floors. A main so, floor you walk into, and then the upstairs middle floor was like all seating and shit. And then the upper floor was of just a mirror of the bottom floor. So they had two kitchens. Oh, that's so weird. That is cool. Yeah, the drive thru was on like a fucking hill. It was strange. <laughs> Interesting. So was the drive thru on the like the top floor? Like middle. Oh my god, that's so weird. Yeah. That Dang. is weird. That is weird. Where do you remember where that was? It was fucking huge. No, I faintly remember heading to a cottage with a buddy of mine back in high school. But it was in Ontario? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, that's fucking cool. Interesting. I don't remember which direction. Don't know. I'm sure if you Google We could probably it, Google probably it. Find it. Yeah, we could probably find it. Track that shit down. Oh, very and interesting. Then also, like, and then also keep in mind that I'm trying to remember shit from many years ago. Mm. There could be things that don't exist. Three levels definitely exist. 
I'm pretty sure that the drive through was on a hill. It was strange, but <laughs> I could just be making shit up because I'm hard. <laughs> you know, it never happened. The schnozberries taste like schnozberries, man. <laughs> No, that's interesting. Yeah, that's that's crazy. And like, I don't know, we talk about all the time about how KFC is just not the same. And like, I don't know why this has turned into (laughs) fat cast. Like, you remember back in the day? (laughs) I don't know why either. You get a whole bucket of pussy. I think it's because I'm high and I'm like, you know what? I could smash all this shit right now. (laughs) But uh, yeah, all of it. Yeah, everything could just uh, everything just tastes so much better. And I get it. Whatever, it's better for us now. But oh man. These, I don't think these kids that it is. Know. I don't think it is at all better for us now. Well, yeah, that's that's it, right? Yeah, that's true. What 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 is right? What isn't right? Every other day, there's a new diet, or oh no, we got to eat all the fats. No, I don't eat any of the fats. Oh, just eat all these ones. It's hard to say, man. What well, just seems like shit shit in these fast food restaurants. Or materials are getting cheaper, but mm-hmm. they're getting more expensive. Oh Same yeah, story. that's exactly harkening, like harkening back to that fucking nugget story. But even beyond that, like when I was a kid, uh, Big Macs tasted a lot different. And I understand and know scientifically, yes, our taste buds fucking swap out every so many years, um, and our tastes change. But I'm dead certain that everything tasted different. The sauce tasted different. Everything tasted different. Yeah, they've added more horseradish to the sauce. Something. I feel like it used to be runnier. <laughs> I don't know about that. <clears throat> no, I think I think it was a different consistency and it tasted a lot more like Thousand Isle dressing kind of thing than <laughs> fucking horseradish. Horseradish but. the way it is now, but horseradish? Oh, that's what I think. It's got kind of a heat to it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, man, it's been a while. I wouldn't actually I would couldn't even tell you. I tried the, uh, what was it called? The the, the Grand Mac. Oh, the Grand, the grand, grand Mac. Big Mac. Yeah. I, I bought it for him the other day just because I wanted to know what, what was so fucking grand about it. It wasn't that yeah. grand. I, you know, I, I don't know. It was, literally no, just like, it was on a bigger it? bun. Uh, I, think the, I think the patties were bigger. They were still the flat little patties. Yeah, and uh, Not like quarter pounder, Pete. No, that's what I thought they would do. That that's something what I thought like that, you know. Would be. Why would you, Why wouldn't you do that? Yeah, I don't right. know. Unless they fucked mine up, <laughs> <laughs> and I got some regular patties. But uh, us fat guys want a proper Big Mac, and I make it with a quarter pounder, Pete. Yeah, you cack suckers. What the fuck? Yeah. Meanwhile, like fucking KFC is like, we don't give a shit. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take away the bun. <laughs> or give you two other pieces of fucking chicken to eat on top of this piece to of eat chicken. A slice of cheese and bacon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we we might have gave up our name, Kentucky Fried Chicken. We're not doing it anymore. Fuck you. <laughs> fucking taking a stand, the Colonel. It's my fucking hero. <laughs> the Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know. Their their latest chicken sandwich is killer. I won't lie. Which one's that? Uh, I think it's just called the chicken chicken sandwich. It's really? Like that's how lazy that is. Come try the chicken sandwich. <laughs> well, that's well because chicken sandwiches have been trending for the last uh, like sixteen know, years. years. <laughs> oh, I mean, like recently. Like no, I know trend. it's gotten to be really <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and like, yeah, everybody's coming out with one. Fucking A and W's got one right now. I'm trying to play on a Nashville hot chicken. Mm. I mean, it looks good. Yeah. But I've yet to find a proper chicken sandwich that could uh, surely wow me. But the KFC <laughs> one is pretty, pretty close. Pretty, pretty good. decent. The, uh, we used to have Chick-fil-A every once in a while. That, that was pretty good. I've never had Chick-fil-A. I hear it's delicious. Yeah, you got to go to the airport to get it. Yeah, that was the only pain in the ass. The plug was at the airport. Yeah. So what does uh, Christian homophobia taste like? It's delicious. Yeah, sensual meat, <laughs> just like Dan made it. It's lightly seasoned. <laughs> moist. Just a hint of Jew. <laughs> just a tiny hint. Fuck, I, I saw this thing on Twitter the other day, and I it think it was Twitter. No, it might have been TikTok. 
and uh, the guy was saying the best moment in cinema history. And then he played the part from. Um, oh fuck! I just hit a pothole as I was talking about. Oh it. my goodness! It's the one where fucking uh, Mel Brooks and he comes out and he's got fifteen commandments. And he's like, oh, and then he drops. I brought, yeah. I brought, brought these the fifteen commandments. Ten, ten commandments. Yeah. The world volume two, maybe. Yeah, and it was it. I as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, that is one of the most brilliant <laughs> fucking brilliant. Moments. Yes. Fucking like, because who the fuck knows, right? That guy, he said he talked to God. He he could have done anything. Yeah, you know? he's full of shit. So, anyway, I'm that's a burning bush. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck. <laughs> A flaming bush. Oh, man. I think he was on dope. Oh, he was definitely eating mushrooms. They all were. That's how we became humans instead of monkeys. Fight me. By eating mushrooms? Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. The monkeys ate the mushrooms, which unlocked part of our brains. And then we were like, yo, we could fucking stand on two feet. <laughs> and, and then we were like, we don't need all this fucking hair. We could be hair. bipedal. Yeah. We could be it, bipedal. Yeah. He's like, you know, we could probably fucking run this joint. We don't gonna be monkeys anymore. <laughs> what if we all got together? You know, I, the fuck, I saw Ron. He's got a pointy stick. We could probably kill some shit. <laughs> saw this other guy. He had this thing. He called it fire. It was fucking fire. hot. I say you we stabbed what? some shit, put you it on the what? fire. I'm tired of living in the fucking trees. I got yeah. a guy. He knows how to build some fucking boxes that you live in. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, and I then... Uh, I can see it now. It makes perfect sense. And, and so then, so we went from that, where we were the monkeys, to where we are now. And then it, it that thought process always brings me to the part in the office where Dwight and... Uh, Michael are standing in the the middle of the landfill (laughs) and it pans back on this giant Uh landfill and Dwight's like, we did this. Uh We are the only species on the planet that could do this, make this much waste. I'm like, shit, the office just got really fucking real. Real, really real, real quick. But, But then, you know, the next scene comes up and it's way back to stupid goofball jokes. Exactly. Then you're back to, ah, there's the dick and fart jokes I love. Are you a big office fan? Oh, mm-hmm. I love The Office, man. I can't help it. I can't do it. Either I, one of it, them. I've tried both. It's, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I tried the British one. I couldn't do it, but the yeah, the American one was one. tough. It, I had to watch like almost the entire second season to fall in love with it. And now, we had a friend of ours. We had a friend of ours. Was television. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> give us the first and second season, and he was like, "You have to watch it all." Yeah, he's like, "Just he made give, us it, binge give it, it a time." And we're like, "All right, yeah." It was probably one of the first like TV shows we ever binge watched. Mm-hmm. And then we were like, "Okay, we're good now." Yeah, we we're up, up we're, on it. We're but, okay. We're into it now. But I get it. It's not for everybody for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what is for everybody? Snurfing, Wait. where can they find you on the internet? Uh, well, if you want to find me on Twitter for whatever reason, <laughs> at the real snurfing. Whatever you want to reason. Find me on- <laughs> He's a married man, ladies, so keep it, you know, keep it Happily. casual. Happily, yeah. yeah. And uh, on the, uh, oh, what's it called? Instagram. Well, <laughs> probably don't reach out on that one. <laughs> yeah, I guarantee yeah, I that's not there. that app is no longer on his phone, people. Oh no, it's still on there. Yeah, is it the little click here to download in case you ever want to touch it again? <laughs> no, it's it's click on it. It's up to date. Up. <laughs> I don't know if it's up to date. <laughs> I mean, I still look at it from time to time. All right. So let's say you're on Instagram. What's the handle over there? At just at Snurfin. At Snurfin. Sweet. MDI. People want to track you down on the interwebs? Um, well, if they want to, I guess they can find me at the real MDI. Perfect. On all the things. Just, uh, mostly Instagram, though. Yeah, it's the things. 
And uh, I'm at Furinus on almost everything or at any of the social medias. All of it's pretty much me. So reach out anytime. Canadian. Except for TikTok. That's me, bitch. That's right. Yeah. If you're on our TikTok, I only post the things that I don't I don't watch them or, or do any of that stuff. I just record myself doing dumb things. MDI takes care of the rest. All the commenting. That's me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I ain't nobody got time for that. Except for me. But, but you. Yeah. That's what that's your job. That's why I do it. I do all the other stuff you do that. Exactly. That's where it goes. But uh yeah, Canadian Trash Gaming is up and running. We've done a couple of streams, so head on over there. We're trying. It died today after about twenty five minutes for me. I don't know what happened, but yeah. I don't know. All We're of a sudden gonna have to it figure done, it out. So we'll figure that out hopefully tomorrow. But yeah, and then Logic did it for a bit and uh then uh, Dreamer the jumped on too, and yeah. yeah. So we got lots going on. We're going to be doing some uh, some streaming in the next couple of days, probably some Call of Duty. But I've also, we just recently got grounded. I'm just trying to figure out what we need to do so Logic can play with us. I don't know if oh, he yeah, needs... But... Oh, wait, would he be playing on the PC? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He and... So I th- uh... think he needs a gold membership, but I'm not sure. Well... Um, yeah, see, I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, he would because it would be, him. you'd be using the game path. Mm-hmm. Well, no, because we, we got it on Steam, but oh. I, but I think he still needs the, because I, I thought it was just the Xbox Live account, but I think he does need the gold, but I, I'm trying to figure it out. I saw some stuff on Reddit, so I'm going to, I'm going to try a couple of things before I, just break down and get them. Spend eighty dollars on the gold membership. Yeah, I'm gonna see what I can do. That's not free. No, but I can't wait to do it because they just did a bunch of updates, and uh, yeah, that seems like it's gonna be a lot of fun. There's like mushroom houses and stuff you can build now, and all you kinds of spiders. Yeah, and so and ants and all kinds of. Weird oh, stuff. I remember actually, something else really I got up to game. this week. <laughs> it's too late. The show's over. <laughs> <laughs> right in your notes. You can get up to the next week. Okay. <laughs> You're like sleeping. <laughs> anyway. I am not. I'm here. I'm listening. I just had a thought. You just had a thought. Well, that's always good. Anyway, check us out on all the things, man. If you listen on iTunes or I think even on Spotify, you can give us a rating of five star or whatever. We'd love it. And uh, definitely hit us up and tag us in it so I can read it on the next one. And uh Yeah. In the meantime, keep token, keep smoking. That's Twat FM, bitch. Bitch.